Well, welcome back to the big board. It's only the end of the first turn, and we're already seeing some really interesting things happen with this game. Um, the The game mechanics are uh, really interesting, and probably fairly different from most other games I've played before. Although I, I know there are some other systems around that probably use some similar uh, styles of uh, actions, but I can't recall one off the top of my head. At the, the way things work at the moment is that <clears throat> when you move a piece, you flip it over to its used side uh, or friction point side and uh, count movement points out. And then when you want to attack, just similar to NATO Division Commander, you saw, saw me going through an exercise with that, I think, on a video. Uh, it costs you movement points to attack, and you can choose to do a mobile attack, you can choose to do a hasty attack, you can choose to do a prepared attack, whatever the case may be. And so you go through all these different choices to end up on a, a certain column on the CRT. And uh, so it's odds, and then on the left-hand side it'll have, depending on whether it's you know A, B, C type of attack, it will move your die roll up or down. So it's kind of like a DRM that they build it into the table. And then uh, you've moved a unit, so you earn uh, one friction point, which is you know like a cohesion point or loss of uh, units or whatever the case may be. It represents a number of different things, right? Uh, you so that's one. And then when you make an attack, you lose one. And then at the end of the attack, if the defender hasn't retreated and there was an adverse result for you, you would uh, lose another. Uh, as a regiment, you have five cohesion points, so. This guy here has already has three, no, sorry, this guy here has three under his belt. One and two is three. Uh, he made two attacks and moved. So that's three uh, hits. So you only get one back a turn. So we've almost already in the first little, you know, half a day, worn this guy down a little bit and he really didn't achieve very much. These guys, uh, this one guy here just retreated. Uh, Actually, he must have had to have taken one if you retreated, because you uh, you have to take at least one loss. There you go. So, uh, so and these little guys only have uh, three or four uh, hits uh, available to them because they're just companies. But whereas these are regiments, and battalions have four, I think, and companies have three, perhaps. Uh, so it's interesting. Now, uh, so then, so you go through that exercise, and you have. Uh, you move all your guys. Then your opponent moves all his guys, and then you get to go and move everything again if you wish to. You have to incur more friction points um, to do that, and both sides keep alternating until they're done, and both sides pass, and then it's the, the end of the first turn. So while, uh, while I said we're at the end of the first turn, we're really at the end of the first two phases, because now, uh, if I wanted to, I could, uh, you know, roll to see if I could leave this uh, zone of control of this company, which is quite easy to do, and go around him and keep going, and then move all these other guys and give them all a friction point with the view to uh, pushing forward more quickly, or do I want to call an end of the turn here, recover friction points for everybody, and then move forward as a uh, more cohesive and stronger force or more resilient force if it comes to losses. Uh, so that's some interesting choices you get to make every phase and every turn. Um, these are going to be for the NATO forces, pretty much sacrificial lambs, but a two is fairly good because that only gets you on the six to one table, which means you're going to, inf you're going to force some type of loss on these guys if you're prepared to stand and fight and take a loss yourself, which with these, I'll take two or three losses if it takes them a turn or two, uh, then you know they're stuck here and they're not getting up to row 21, which is where the victory points start or whatever it is. So it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, quick look at the field, you can see the East Germans on the right and the Czechs here at the bottom. Uh, a little, uh, they, they didn't have enough movement points to actually conduct any attacks this turn, so they will probably continue their uh, efforts to uh, move in the next phase. The West German 12th uh, Panzer Division uh, got to make its movement and they uh, quickly moved into some uh, blocking locations and then uh, hoping that those US forces in Schweinfurt will be freed up next turn. And you've got other, other US forces here and of course lots more over there. 
So, uh, and then of course there's always reinforcements coming. There's a whole bunch of reinforcements. I almost made a mistake and had uh, too many divisions on the board at the very beginning. Uh, there's a mod modified setup that adds even more divisions uh, on game turn one. And I was looking at that when I set this up, but uh, this division doesn't come on yet. It comes on game turn three. These guys come on game turn two. So I had to take, take them off the board. I have not deployed my paratroopers yet, uh, or my mobile air mobile division. I don't know uh, when I want to do that. And uh, this is the BAOR map, uh, fairly slow progress there as well. So you can see uh, while, uh, <laughs> you know, this this commentary I had earlier on about how it's very weighted towards the Soviets, I, I still believe that's the case at the moment. Uh, but the way the combat and movement are working out and the friction points, the friction points is going to be what's going to slow you down from uh, progressing, just you know, ripping through the entire map because you'll kill your unit. You know, it'll, it'll it'll literally come off the board, even if you didn't attack anything. If you moved five times or four times, it's done and it's off the board. Interesting stuff. All right, I'll leave it at that, and uh, we'll get on and work if work out which maps are going to have a second phase and which will uh, be calling a bygones, and then we'll get everyone in sync and move on to uh, turn two when it's ready.